Come with me to Gymshark's biggest event of the year, Lift New York. God, it's James Beardwell. I'm gonna make this a little bit more of a story to make the video a bit more meaningful, even though it is already meaningful already, right? But I didn't really want it to be a vlog. I've realized that I've filmed a lot, but I haven't really told too much, too many stories or whatever. So I'm gonna run you through the whole of the event, talk about it, talk about its why, talk about what happens, talk about how amazing it is, everything like that. So I flew in on Wednesday um, to New York. Just made it to the hotel. Look at this little dinky camera. The dinky thing, as Sam would call it. It's half 12 in the morning, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna go get some sleep. Um, yeah, the airline left my baggage in London because the connecting flight from Manchester to London was delayed. So I only had like 20 minutes to run from the plane to the new plane. They didn't get my suitcase. <sighs> So my bag is in London. I've got no clothes, no underwear, no camera, no big camera, no tripod, no toothbrush, no razor. And my shoot, I have to get up at 7 a.m., get in the Uber at 8 a.m. and go to my shoot in these clothes. I'm gonna have to go commando. Brilliant start to the trip anyway. Oh, mm. She's blocking my eyebrows. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh my god, it's James Beardwell. With a camera out. <laughs> it's I rare. Think he's... James, why are you making that camera look like big in your hand? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> So we're currently shooting for the Black Friday. Oh, there's a car in the way. Yo. You don't need to go hide in the corner to vlog, bro. It's I was okay. actually going to get everyone we're not, we're in front not judging shot. you. It's okay, bro. It's okay, bro. James Beardwell made it in. No underwear. Lost his bags. Yeah. I, I saw for myself. He showed me when he first pulled up. But yeah. We are. Waved around like an elephant's trunk. But we're doing a little photo shoot right now. The nine, that's like my best, one of my best yeah, it's here. videos. Yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been, I've been training again. Let's see it. There you go. Look at that little peak. The little peak? The, the salt flats of Utah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at this man from the UK. He knows his geography. Everest right there. You see that? That actually does look crazy, bro. That's peaked. I have such long bicep insertions that like doesn't look good. Bro, the light looks sick here. Damn. Well, the product is gonna be mustard. Adele mustard. Hi, babies. Why mustard? Who doesn't love a good mustard? Me. <gasps> Look at him brushing his mustache. Yeah. <laughs> Style me. Oh, okay. Star of the show. Welcome. Fan favorite. So we're in New York. We're in this. No, I'm joking. <laughs> you in today. What's this? Um, Black Friday only product. Uh, is this not allowed to be shown? That's cool. I wish they made a men's version. No, Straight no, there. Uh, Pressed. Yeah. Do you want a large? A bit more oversized. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's so quiet. Oh my god. Put that little bit of an angle again. That's it. You got the shot. <laughs> Is it really chewy? <laughs> no, I was going to make it look chewy and then I came off the fork, so it might be good. <laughs> Solid. Solid.
what he's been saying. As I was saying, that James kid. Who is this guy? He keeps touching people's asses and shit. But who even is this guy? Trying to be us. <laughs> Trying to write in his notes that he wants to be us. Huh? <laughs> like. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yo, stop gonna die. Why are your stuff dying? Hovering my head and all you see the I'm dumb. Your phone just turned the camera. I ain't got no battery. Uh, second day was the athlete day, uh, which was where we did the Archon challenge. We had a ve we had a venue uh, a venue little tour, and then we had the Archon challenge. Cool name, I know. So. It was a challenge where it takes into account your gender assigned of birth, body weight, everything like that. You do some lifts, run a mile, bish bash bosh. We split into four teams, and my team won. No, no, no. Yo, why do you put 24 on the shirt? It's 2024. Shit. I put that together. You enjoying that, bro? <laughs> Really, really excited about this weekend. 27,000 tickets went in under 24 hours. Like, hype us up as if we're about to do a run club, but no one's right. excited. All right, yeah, you're right. All right, motivation. Shit. You gotta chase the heart. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> I was ready. Nah. I don't, I don't even want to say my uh, spiel no more. Nah, so that looks sick. I didn't do it myself. <laughs> Let's get a pick. You excited? I'm ready. Are we ready to go? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I want the same reaction. I'm not ready to go, bro. All right, so it's athlete day here in New York. So we are doing the Archon Challenge, which is going to be a cool challenge. It's going to be rolled out to the rest of the world soon. You individually do exercises like the skier, the deadlift, squats. What did you, did you say about? You getting ready on the bench? It's the start. Yeah. Wait, how long do we go? And then the third day was the start of the event. So today we had the first day of the event. I'm absolutely shattered right now. It is day one of the event and I kind of missed it. I missed the bus. He missed the bus. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I missed the bus, but we still beat the bus here. So I got to hop on it before they get to the arena. This is Clem. Clem who collected James from the hotel lobby. <laughs> Special treatment, such a diva. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Yep, yep. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. Thank you. I'm just giving her like one of the meetings. How would they ever know? They don't know we're in here. Okay. Really? <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Okay, Hello, Aiden. 
Aiden said he's from all the way here. He's from Wyoming. Wyoming, just yep. to see me apparently. Yeah, just to see Jay. <laughs> But it was so sick, man. It was so sick. I'm gonna get into it in a little bit more uh, in a second. And then tomorrow is the final day. Monday, I'll do a bit of exploring of New York, and then, um, and then Monday evening I'll fly home. We're talking about this in lockdown 2020 when uh, the old Corona hit. I just finished six. I I had just finished school. I just finished six sixth form, uh, and I didn't want to go to university yet. Uh, I didn't know what to do with myself. I was a little bit bored, so I downloaded the app called TikTok. Uh, I posted a couple of things on there with no no expectation of anything happening from it. I just thought, mm, fuck it, let me post. And um, meanwhile, I was reading a couple of books from Rich Dad Poor Dad, um, other self help kind of books that the old person reads when they're a little bit lost. And um, I started to think, right, I want to. I want to kind of figure out this route of making a living and out of doing what I want to do. So I carried on posting TikToks. Um, I posted on YouTube as well. And I started to gain a following. And a lot of people started to support me. And I thought, this is great. This is cool. I'm at home. No one's judging me. I'm not seeing anyone in lockdown. Lockdown one ended. And I went and started seeing my friends again. And, um, I quit TikTok because I remember walking into a room, it was a little gathering, I remember walking into a room and, you know, it was all banter and I don't hold, I don't hold anything against <clears throat> the select few that were saying these things were like, one of them was like, yeah, James is a little bit wet, you know what I mean? And I get it, it was a joke, but it, and I, and I don't hold any, any grudge or anything, I'm not a grudge holder, but it, it made me quit. And then I stopped doing TikTok. And I often think to myself, what if I never started again? Like, what would I be doing? So, time goes on, lockdown two hits, and I start posting again. And I went from 20K followers to 200,000. Um, kept posting, kept posting. I decided I wanted to go to uni for the, for the fact that I didn't want to miss out on that part of my life because of, you know, a potential short-lived career in doing social media. Even though at that point I wasn't making money anyway. So yeah, I went to uni to be smart as well to get something that would get me a job in the future. And I went to uni and I carried on with the social media and I became close, close, close friends with my absolute best friend in the world, Sam, who also was doing social media. And we both started killing it. And I started making some money. I got my first sponsorship, my protein, who I'm still with now. And um, you know, code James, if you want to get any protein for cheap. Fast forward, I drop out of uni. And two months after I drop out, Jim Chuck approached me. And two years after that, here I am in New York at their biggest event ever. And I'm walking around inside and outside and I'm getting stopped by people that are saying, James, you're my favorite Gymshark athlete. You inspired me to go to the gym. You inspired me to make content. You inspired me to better my life. And I'm getting stopped here, there and everywhere. And only just now did it really hit me. And I had a little cry. 
and I thought to be honest I thought I would get emotional and start crying on this but I've I'm all right. But that is a really, really, really brief story on why you should never give up. Um, to go into it a little bit more, at the start of this year, I got my heart broken by someone that I really thought I would, uh, yeah. Honestly, there's so much more to it. This whole year, I've been doing well like on social media and stuff. I've been growing, I've been achieving things, you know. Um, the success from it all financially and whatnot is getting better. Um, you know, I bought myself my absolute dream car. I'm in an apartment, which is amazing. Um, and this whole year I wanted to quit as well. I couldn't see a point in it. I couldn't understand why I was doing it. I didn't wake up being excited to do it. All because of that. And I mean, I've spoken to everyone about it here. Um, and they've all been so amazing. All the athletes, my managers walking around today and it will be the same tomorrow and meeting everyone who is telling me that I've inspired them to start something, inspired them to keep going. After a really long after a really long time of not feeling anything at all, to be honest. At all. And I know I've hidden it really well on social media. I slipped up a couple of times, I let it out. Um, I made some soppy videos and stuff and I made a lot of videos that you guys wouldn't have even noticed were meaningful. Uh, potentially using songs that were like our song or you know mentioning things or whatever pretty much feeling like pretty much being depressed losing all drive all passion not wanting to go to the gym um, yeah it brought it back and I this has really like sparked something in me again um, so uh, yeah I thought I would get a little bit vulnerable for a second on this video um, Everyone said like they love the YouTube and I need to keep it up, so I'ma do it. I'ma do it. But uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll finish this in a bit. Day two, let's go. Good morning. Morning. How are you? Morning, bro. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. This guy like a year ago on my YouTube. Um, how many followers did you have like a year ago? Or like five months ago? Oh, yeah, probably hard like that. Okay, now you're on what? 88,000 and the video is getting like, you know, 100,000 views. So I saw him, I saw him on my view page right over. I was like, damn, I'm like, this, this guy's good, I'm, I'm rooting for him, Let's keep it up. And then you said to me yesterday, even when I gave up.
Incredible event in the history of Gymshark. I know that sounds really superfluous, but I promise you it's not. And when you consider how long we've been doing this for, to have hit that level and to keep topping it every single time with the next generation of Gymshark athletes, it's something that I am so, so proud of. Yeah. It was truly incredible. Thank you very much for coming down here as well. Hey, listen, being Mark's going to be a big part of our US event now as well, so make sure you look out for him in the United States. I very much appreciate it. I've got one on the same round. Thank you very much, sir. I think they now have them in America, though. Uh, I don't know they have them in the UK. Have you never had a lollipop lady? I thought I'd more in the... All right, like folks. A primary school thing. You're ready for a eventful night, to say the least. It might not be vlogged. It might be. Who knows? But that's New York City for you, baby. That's America. Oh, no, I like you. 